And so, one of the small things I don't like on GNOME Shell is the shutdown menu design. I'm talking about this menu! That aside it is super ugly, it also feels super confusing too, and I can't never get used to it! And if you use Shell Panel? It feels so much worse in the action coming from the bottom! It may be a small detail, and perhaps people in GNOME use alternative methods to shut down or restart. But then again, there is no reason why we shouldn't have a beautiful and functional design to everything. Yo, come with me to show you how Windows are doing that. Yo. And so, on the bottom right we have our indicators, and by the way, I like a lot both the design and the graphics of this menu. And we can also shrink it for additional minimalization. But most importantly, we also have a single power off item for everything. And if we click it, we get all the actions in full screen. And everything is super clean, simple and sweet. And this flying animation of the background, so cool and discreet. Hum, let's try it with an application behind? For example with the settings app. So, power off again, and again we get the screen with our background, and without any app visible behind. Well, let's try again by sending a notification when we're on the screen. So I will use an alarm notification from clocks, that I've set to 5 seconds. Clocks basically got bugged, so you can't hear it beeping, but if we go back, we see the notification on top of the menu that for some reason it always stays opened. And anyway, that was everything. Oh! Another matter I want to mention is the super nice animations, even if I run it on an emulator, so everything suffers. For instance, this minimization effect, wah! But not everything is bells and whistles. So let me show you the universal files picker, that is supposed to work even on Microsoft Surface laptops. Besides, there is no Windows phones anymore. So we hit the browse button. And everything is super slow. And sometimes clumsy too. And that also affects normal universal apps, so it's not just an emulator issue. And anyway, that's pretty much the fluent design file picker so far, and I got to tell you. Before you complain next time for GNOME's file picker, there are worse so much more worse! And of course! When it comes to design and features, every user has a different set of requirements from the apps. For instance... Now in my ever humble opinion, I think that Brave should be giving me lots of money. Lots and lots more money. Hey!